In this lesson, we're going to jump back a little bit as promised and we're going to look at a way of creating the canvas without typing it in HTML, without typing it within the HTML. I'm going to comment out the canvas, go back out to our web page, refresh that, and we see that we don't actually have anything there. When we go to the source, that's commented out now, and we're still linking out to our JavaScript. Uh, so within here, we're actually going to set up our canvas with using JavaScript. And this uh, saves us the trouble of setting that up here and then actually cooking it into the DOM and hoping that... Um, so what we had noticed within the previous lesson is that when I place my JavaScript above uh, the actual HTML contents, uh, we weren't able to connect into that particular canvas, that ID. And doing it this way will actually ensure that um, everything is loaded and that you are able to connect to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is do document and we're going to create an element and the element that we're creating is a canvas and the next thing that we're doing is we're going to do ctx. So same thing that we did before and we're just going to actually copy this out because at this point uh, we're creating that within the DOM and now we're hooking it on so that we can actually manipulate it with the ctx. And there's a few other things that we have to do. We actually have to give the canvas a height as well as a width. So we're going to stick with what we had up there at the top and I'm going to give it a height of 400 and a width of 600. So it's 400 pixels by 600 or I should say 600 by 400 horizontally. And then now what we need to do is we need to actually append this to the body tags. So we're going to append append a child into there and that's going to be that canvas object that we've just created. And then also if we wanted to we can write out to it on hello world. So now when I go out to the page I refresh it we actually get the same result that we did from the previous lesson. So this is the way to create it using JavaScript when the page loads and it gives us essentially the same result that we were looking at in the previous lesson. So again within the source code we've um, commented that out. And in the next lesson we're going to start getting into some more exciting stuff with HTML5 Canvas and actually start creating out some game elements.